is as here. Enjoy. Currently streaming on Heel vs. Babyface. This will go over to uh, the What Toys channel for another episode of Look at My Toy. No, look at my toy. No, look at my toy. Yeah, I think it's look, look at, at my, my toy. toy. My toy is amazing. Give it a lick. <sighs> it tastes just like raisins. Mine's pretty and big. Do you remember that? No. When the internet was when when YouTube, never mind the internet. When YouTube was free, was Edge Lords and and f- yet yeah, freak freaky songs written it by was. weirdos. You mean the thing that built it? Yes, <laughs> the thing that popularized it. One might say, right? Because it was completely away from the mainstream, and you could uh, you could watch what you wanted, pretty much by who you wanted. Yeah. And how you wanted, because you could pause a video and, and go off and make a cup of coffee, all this sort of stuff. You know what's now, cool. YouTube trying to be as mainstream as possible, which is odd because their their whole counter programming is what attracted everyone. I mean, it's what built. It's what attracted me to one of YouTube. Yes, I mean, I that, wanted very specific things. Right. Like you're never going to see on a mainstream channel hot toys or Lego building or you're not going to see those on TV. No. When when did you ever see a toy show on TV? Never. I think the closest we ever came would be when Discovery Channel was at its height of delivering quality content like uh, dirty jobs, like things that you would never see. Not reality TV, because I, I want to separate that out, but you're never going to see that. You never saw it before. And look, it went the way of the dodo. My question is, do you think it's ever going to return? Do you think YouTube well, will ever return to its roots? I'm going to... The, the quick answer is no. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to reveal my big toy immediately right now. Okay, whip it out. It's Robert Man Burnett. Hey! Uh, I do not know what kind of internet sorcery is happening, but... Uh... I was on a, uh, I'm on Wi-Fi. Normally I don't go. My, my, uh, uh, ethernet was not working. I don't know what's going on. They might just yank me for saying something against this deep state. Well, we are talking about how YouTube's gone mainstream. Yeah. What's up with that? What happened to the alternative press? What happened to people like us? Exactly. Come that's on, man. We're ta- that's, that's what we're the, talking about. But that's the same way you had nine inch nails was alternative at one time. Until yes, I do. Here. I love, yeah, in the past, I love Trent Reznor and what he used to do. Oh, oh I thought you were how- talking about something else. Oh. <laughs> my, my nine inch nail. Just kidding. I don't have a nine inch nail. Well, I can, I I can a- give you a nine inch <clears throat> nail. Can you? If you want it, if you want it twice. <laughs> The thing is, is I, I think they actually made more money when they were the alter- when they were counter programming. At least that's my view. They had a bigger audience. But now then they, but, but then they, um, I mean, contrary to popular belief, the belief is PewDiePie drove near a bridge, <laughs> and and that's what caused a lot of uh, advertisers to, you know, the big ones, your Coca Colas and your, you know, to drop out. But that's not actually true. That's that's the convenient excuse. The convenient excuse, the actual the actual reason, is that uh, some people who might have a slightly inflated ego, a little bit, uh, essentially were approached by a company and uh, created uh, <laughs> the sensorial nature of YouTube that we have today mm-hmm. uh, with the algorithm way that they could hone algorithms and. Do 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 do, and then that third party company went to Google and went, "Hey, look what we've got." And Google and I, oh, don't mind if we do. <clears throat> what what I what I find distressing is that uh, here we have basically a town hall. YouTube is a global town hall. Anybody mm. can come, and it's funny. I find myself getting more and more criticized because people know I watch all different kinds of channels. <gasps> And, uh, and I'm place. like, how dare you? Uh, and it's so funny. I'm like, how how do you learn? I mean, to watch channels that have alternative points of view than you, you, when you get to listen to somebody who has something different to say than you do, and by you judging your own views by listening to alternative viewpoints, 
It's how you come to understand what you believe. And it allows you to have a uh, better discourse. And I, I, I absolutely agree with that. By the way. Yep. Uh, you're right. I mean, you don't, it's so funny because I learn from everybody, you know, that's, that's what life is, is all about. And, um, well, it's the only way to learn. It's the only way to learn. And if YouTube is curtailing certain voices from being heard, the whole point of having a, a town hall is, is, and I understand, I mean, here, here's, here's the thing. If I believed that voices were being squelched to make the world a better place, mm -hmm. you might get me to say, oh, I understand where you're coming from. I don't believe in it. Right. But the thing is, <clears throat> I don't believe in the conclusions that the voices who want to squelch us have drawn. They're not, if, if everyone was looking to make a better, more just world, I'd be like, okay, but they're not. Right. It if all you comes want a down better, to the same thing. It's, well, it's my, always come my, down to money. It's people. I, do have, yeah, I do have a caveat with my, I agree. I agree with you. My caveat is uh, from the perspective of a geek, mm -hmm. You see, right. I'm quite prepared to listen to somebody say that George Clooney is the best Batman. What? I'll listen to it, but I will dispute it. Right, okay. <laughs> I, was I about, will okay. dispute it. <laughs> yeah, okay. now, now I am prepared to listen to people <laughs> that say the Red Sonja film in the 1980s was dog shit. And, and I agree, it was terrible. But that doesn't stop me from loving the shit out of it Especially and, and watching it, you know, with regularity as a guilty. No, I wouldn't even say it's guilty because it still was a fun, terrible movie. Yeah, and it's got a hot too. redhead in it. Yeah. Hot yeah. Dutch tall redhead. But I think the point is the Who fact that we're, we're, possibly we're, we're... the worst actress in the history of cinema. Yeah, I don't think she was. Hired I would for her I, I, I'd go there. She wasn't oh, hired for uh, yeah. Who wouldn't? Redhead. You could climb. Yeah. Stallone went there. there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he, 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 he slicked it up. <laughs> Although Stallone asked her, asked her to upgrade the um, chassis. Uh, yeah, upgrade the <laughs> chassis. Yes. <laughs> no, I think it's. I think when you when you listen to other people, I mean, it's. I think everybody's ideas, as long as it doesn't involve kids, everyone's ideas should be out there because that's the way. Good, bad, and different, alternative. Because that's the way the cream rises to the top. But we're not allowed started. adult conversations on YouTube now. We're well, not allowed them. But you know what's interesting about that? There is Man of War. It was three months ago. He told me about something that he had heard of. And I was like, this is not possible. Uh, he, had, he had sent me this link. It was right when YouTube came out with that new policy, which says you can't curse in the first, what, 15 seconds of yeah, the video? 30 seconds. Mm. 30 30 seconds. seconds. Oh, right. That fucking sucks. And, and I was like, how is this possible? And because there's content on YouTube that I had no idea existed. I mean, absolutely not. I mean, they're showing women's twats about shaving. What? No, I'm, I'm yeah, not anything you want to look at. Believe me, I'm blinded. That's something I'm, I want to look at. No, no, you do not. Because the ones who are showing I'm quite into it, women's twats, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, except it's not which it's not like you know treasures or strip. No, 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 no. This was like you know him saying strippers. It. No, I said women's twats, not cesarean section skirts. Yeah, there you go. But I'm saying is this? I'll even they look have at those. this stuff, and it didn't. It, they had they had information like this that's I want to available. Go below the they don't let you curse, and I'm like sitting there going, "What the hell is going on? You can't curse in 30 seconds, but you can show this shit." It's all coming to a focal point. No. Yes, it, the it other way, other point. way, other way. Yeah, yeah, they inferred there to focal. Point. <laughs> Where I came from with my tongue out. Um, oh wait. <laughs> What an image. Licked on the way out. Uh, but there's a lot of great news this week. <laughs> well, before we go into any of that, hi, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to Hot Toys. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, as ever. <laughs> I'm as. Real first, very first. As ever. Uh, joined by uh, my co-host, George. Giant Slay. How are you doing, George? Doing well. Doing great. Glad to be back. Feeling much better. Much better. I'm liking your uh, your hat. Thank you. Yeah, I went up after Looking watching good. after watching Robert's interview with uh, several times when you did it with uh, the captain, Todd was, Stashwick. Yeah, yeah, I went to his you know, site. Yeah, I bought the he, shirt. That, uh, first of all, that guy is the greatest. He's just the greatest guy in the world. He's a total 
uber nerd. He yeah, runs, he's got this incredible holographic Dungeons and Dragons table in his nerd lair. I mean, he is one of the nicest, coolest dudes I've ever met. Do you and know what makes him even genuine... cooler? Mm. What? Here we go. the pronouns out his fucking bio. Yeah, I don't like that. I saw that. I know that kind of was a little bummer. But you know what? He has well, a and d drinking book. I was like, I've been playing, I've been gaming for years. <laughs> I was like, because everyone drinks. And, and, and the My book is really, it. it's really, really good. I mean, look, here's, here's the funny thing. You know, when you work in the arts, you know, you mean, and this is the funny thing that I've just, I don't get. I've worked in movies since 1989 mm-hmm. and movies are a, I like to call it the, the profession of misfit toys. People have said that sometimes that I'm the king of the island of misfit toys because artists, crazy artists, people who are not mainstream are drawn to the artistic professions. And I've been dealing with people like that my whole life, and I love them. I, it's, right. It's, and well, Robert, nowadays, they, were there. They, they were already there. And everyone right. had, I mean, working on a movie set, I've had all kinds of crazy people. Right, but they kept and the nowadays, crazy to would, themselves. Have, it, people, <laughs> yeah. Before they and kept we'll, the crazy we'll, to but, themselves. Well, well, they kept the, yeah, they kept, yes. And the it's, pimples it's, and uh, politics and private lives, that's the one thing that I miss. I, I like the discussion that started this week. I saw the article that uh, Gary had posted, and then we talked about it on Base Staff Monday. You know, the death of the movie star. I think you and I talked about that, Robert, the first time yeah, we, we were on the we phone. Did. And yep. I was like, well, what is the one thing that separates the legends from the past from today? Well, one of them was is the studio told them how to dress, how to walk, how to talk, where to go eat. You know, they said, God bless America, and here's my movie. They didn't get into their personal stuff. It would be like up to Johnny Carson or Jay Leno to, or Barbara Walters to pull something out. So it created a mystery. Well, hey, YouTube's Robert gotten already. is disgusted by what you're trying to say, and he's just I know. He just laughed. Down. He just said, fuck it. You know, what, you know what killed the, the movie star? Mm. Social what? media. Right, I, I agree with that too. But don't you think it's also because of the fact that it, the mystery around yeah, them is dead when they exactly. share everything so really, about their life? Exactly, because once we didn't know who oh, by the they way, actually out. look, Robert, like, stop storming out, yeah. okay? You just made a speech about listening to other sides, and then and then <laughs> you get you just storm out in a huff. Wow. It's really unprofessional, Robert. The thing I is, I really, you. George, I, 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 I have the utmost respect for you. I don't know what I wasn't even touching anything. I just disappeared. <laughs> I'm telling you, the deep state's onto me. They're coming after me. Come on, man. They've got micro Ray drones Stevens? going into my ears. <laughs> Did you see Ray Stevens? When I sleep? died? Uh, yeah, I couldn't I believe it. Really sad. No, I, the guy was 56 <clears throat> years old. He was phenomenal. I first watched him in uh, Rome. When he played, he was Polo. so good in Rome. He was so good as the Punisher in Punisher War Journal. He was the best thing about it. Yeah, he was so good. And you know, at fifty-eight, but you know what? Maybe he just stepped out because it's a big pain in the ass nowadays. He just got tired of the rhetoric. <laughs> he just got tired of it. Well, that's the thing about when we were going to Stashwick is I, I really just loved everything he had to chill say. In the uh, the lounge mm-hmm. in the sky. Yeah, the right, Punisher War Journal. Yeah, was well, a... you know, yeah. It's, so it's, we're getting another one, aren't we? <clears throat> we're getting, is it going to be called Punisher Flowers and Forgiveness? I, I'm holding out hope. Certainly, Only, we can't wear that. We can't wear the Punisher logo anymore. No, 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 no. no, no. Bernthal said it's a must. must adhere to uh, certain ideology. I know, By the way, speaking of ideology, people put I, themselves in front of the characters now, and they they self insert <clears throat> themselves into media. And which, they by the way. That's the true meaning of Mary Sue. Yeah, yeah. The the whole the whole idea for, of a Mary Sue came from Star Trek fiction, where the authors inserted themselves. There were actual Star Trek novels published. The book called Dreadnought was one of them, okay. where where the author she who wrote the book, um, created a new character, lower decks character that saved Kirk and McCoy and Spock. And that's where the idea of a Mary Sue character came from okay. was, was the author inserted themselves as a proxy character into their favorite franchise, whatever it was. And that character saved everybody, you know, was the, was the, was the person who saved the day. Wow. And, um, 
Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. That's cool. Boy, hey, did you know, they run true. with that recently. <laughs> but wait a minute. Do, do, do well, y'all have faith that the fact that Bernthal, who's gone on record multiple times, stating that he will not redo the Punisher unless it stays to its its base core character that was revealed in Netflix? Well, like no, he said, uh, well, I hope you, I, this, I love that. Yeah, but he's also going to appear in Daredevil. Right, but yeah. I'm thinking that his character will remain the same because he said that's just a no go for him. But and that's well, I mean, you, you, what you think. Is that what you think? No, I'm holding because the fact the man said there are only three important things in his life: God, his family, and Punisher. Well, that's if you watch fine. his his podcast, he's pretty hardcore. I know that's why I'm I really, I respect him. Yeah, but we're also talking about. Um, I mean, Charlie Cox said very similar things. And then Charlie Cox did She Hulk, and we it saw what happens cop. and we saw what happened to Daredevil in, in She Hulk. Yeah, she uh, emasculated, made an absolute joke out of. Yeah, but he, um, did get laid. he got laid, dude. Hardcore. He, he well, he uh well, he probably got raped in all fairness. He um, got a strap on taken to his head. He was <laughs> he was one of one of three guys in four episodes. <laughs> I would so go there. Which one? Um, if it was, if we're talking young? off and black, yes. <laughs> oh, I'm talking She-Hulk. Yeah, he, I'm I, talking, oh, I want to. I want to. I want to climb that mountain, <laughs> dude. I don't fancy having my dick crushed when she's having a fucking <laughs> orgasm. You know? Oh, that. Well, no, because it would be my face, and I have. I've got good, uh, good uh, uh, bone structure. I'd be able to, like uh, fight it. No, but the contract. <laughs> It's well, terrible. talking about Hulk, there's some great news. I, I've, been, I've been dying to tell tell y'all. Y'all know Juiced at Jazz Inc. At Jazz Inc. Right? Well, Juiced 20, at Jazz yeah. Inc. Who's here? By the way, I got an email from him. Yeah, he wants me to pay shipping on my snow. Spe- yeah. Oh. Let me ask you. Yeah, I got that this morning. I just sent yeah. him an email because I was June. like, uh, Yeah, June uh, or July, like, baby. This is a crazy price because the shipping price that I got was double what for the Batwing. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. Uh, 24 400 bucks. Hours. Yeah. It's okay. So it's the same for you. 404. I was like, how can this be double? You know, the I'll, t- I'll tell you why I think. I think because the snow speeder is one piece. Mm. And okay. the bat wing, like, oh, the, bat wing the was, wings was uh, yeah, apart, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, whereas a snow speeder is probably in a bigger box. Well, here's the good news shipping, point- shipping operates by size and weight. Yeah. Anyway. Like and size, size is actually yeah. very important. <laughs> and I, and, I, and I, I think the snow speeder is probably denser than the bat wing too, so it's heavier, and the box is probably bigger. Gotcha. Well, here's the good news: is he announced 24 hours ago that he has now officially gotten the global license from Warner Brothers for everything Batman, except for in Korea and Vietnam. Everything from 1966 Fuck him. To, till today. No, no. So what he's going to do is, is he's going to actually produce. The Batman and Robin figures, but he's going to make them double packs. You're going to have Batman just like you had Hot Toys with Bruce Wayne in his, you know, civilian okay. attire. I yeah. like that. Ooh. And then he's going, like do, that. he's going to go with the uh, Eartha Kit. Is he going to have Mar. the Beethoven head where you can push the button? Yeah. So, and because you said Hulk, he also uh, has been approached by, uh, he was talking three other licenses. He's been asked to do Karate Kid and Mr. Miyagi. Uh, and then he's been asked to do um, the Men in Black. I don't know why, because they've already done those like ten times. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But then Hulk characters from the Hulk television series. Oh, I love a Bill like Bixby. Bill Bixby, and yeah, I, I would totally Bixby. get it. And and a Lou Ferrigno Hulk. Oh, count me in, bro. Hell yeah, huh. I'll, I'll, that, that's the immediate buy. I was because right now he has a vote up in his Facebook group. He's like, which one? Because he's offering the next 1966 yeah, Batman yeah. thing, the helicopter, the boat, the bike, or the Batcave. And he's Batcave. like, don't. Yeah, I did the same thing. But he says, don't vote unless, you know, what you're going to pick, if you pick them all, make sure that, you know, you want to buy it. Because he's had trouble with a lot of people going in to vote. And then they don't buy anything. And he bases those figures on, you know, which one they're going to plan to move George, forward. George, I bought so much stuff from Jazz fucking Inc. I should have shares in the company by now. <laughs> no, but I mean, I think thing. he's moving into figures, but he's talking about making them all limited runs. So that means giving in art a run. And he's talking about, you know, again, who's it? No one's ever made. He wants to go after Top Gun. They approached him to do, you know, Maverick Iceman, which means then he can make the cockpit. Robocop, he can oh make the car. God. You see, that's what he's if talking about. If I could about. get an, an F-14 cockpit, bro, 
Yeah. Because you know what you could do? You could even get two and modify it and make it Robotech. Ooh, great idea. You know, great idea. make a rope because they did make like um there's a company kid 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 play. They made a Robotech cockpit. Oh, the Akira. Is that the Akira one? No, no. I'm thinking of something else. No, I have the Akira bike, the six scale Akira bike. No, but there is a cockpit from some anime that I've always no, seen. No, it's it, it's Robotech. It's, it's is that it, Robotech? Made, okay. Yeah, but the company that makes it, their stuff is 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 very they make it with a brittle resin. I bought really? some of their stuff and I wanted that cockpit badly, but mm. it would come packed and people would get it and it was shattered and it was not in great shape and you know, sideshow it was like it was like really expensive and it was it lit up and made sounds when you see it it's really impressive but it's really brittle and fragile wow just so like me i i know right hey can i tell you something cool yes sure so 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 have you ever heard of the company upper deck that makes playing cards no, no. okay so upper deck it's a company that makes playing cards that's all i knew about upper deck and i got contacted this is a great thing about youtube I got contacted by them, I don't know, like six months ago. And they said, hey, we want to send you, we're doing these gallery prints. And they knew the guy, I, I, he watched the show and he sent me this. Free of charge, no obligation. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember this. Remember that? Yeah, he yeah, sent yeah. me this Moon Knight print. And, and he said, we just want to send it to you. And, you know, if you want to talk about it, go ahead. What I did not know is that 10 years ago, they had a game, like a, a card like Magic the Gathering, but a, a Marvel game. Right. And I a package showed up at my house. And they apparently, they're, they're celebrating the 100 years, or the 100, the 10 years of the game. And they just, this just shows up. Again, no obligation. It's this... Uh, mm. a, print of marvel and and these are it's really nice it comes in this i mean you get it so it's you know they're heroes rogue and wolverine and spider-man and storm and thor they just sent it to me and um what's awesome is i'm gonna hang it up above my matcha cases of course mm. i don't have a storm and i don't have a rogue hot toys come on um but it's, it's just cool i mean i want to i want to give a shout out to upper deck for making cool shit and just sending it to me that's cool. <laughs> and it was so funny and it's so funny in the note they sent me they're like ah, you can have this you can keep it or you can give it away i'm like I'm not do you know what else is cool well, i'm not giving it away do you know what nope. else is cool what is cool michael keaton batman hot toy oh. yes that's beautiful the only thing i didn't the only when did they announce that today it's just no, it's out now to pre-order just came out now to pre-order yeah. about, I didn't like about how old 15 they made minutes before the show yeah. Oh my beautiful. Uh beautiful. by the way, can I just say, oh, look mm -hmm. at that. Uh the Flash movie, you read what they spoiled, right? Did no, what they no, no, what is it? No. Do you want no, me to tell what? you? No. Can you tell Andy Mush Andy Muschietti spoiled it? It, 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 it it's it's somebody appears. Never read of them. The okay, never mind. I won't say it then. <laughs> well, can you type it to me? Yeah. I'm no. curious. You can you can DM him. I know oh. that I know that there's a certain character that appears briefly. Oh. Okay. In the yeah, in that. the in the multiverse segment. Ah. There you go. The only thing I didn't like about this hot toys, I love everything except they made him look really. Yeah, that's what that's what I, I knew that. I knew that. They made okay, him old. That. Well, yeah, but he is old. No, he no, he's old. older, older than he looks in the trailer. The face, the sculpt, doesn't it? No, right, no, no, no. When you see the movie, he looks because I've seen the movie. He mm. he he's seventy. You know, he's old. And well, he didn't look that way when I saw the trailer. Doesn't that look? That looks like, great. But look at that fucking head sculpt, dude. That's perfect. Yeah, it's a brilliant wow. head sculpt. But you don't think it makes him look like he's in his eighties? No. no, like a little bit of Clint no. Eastwood. Okay, and he, no. I tell you what. And even if he was, I'd still fucking love it. No, yeah. I know, but I just think they aged him up, and that's just the way I perceive it. No, no, I think that's, I think that's great. I think okay. this is. Uh... I I have to tell you, there is the possibility that they could make fifty hot toys figures from this movie. 
Wait a minute. You mean the Batman? Because I saw in the trailer the six. No, no suits. not just the Batman. I'm just saying the figures that we could get from this movie could be in double digits if they wanted to do that. You know what I think we're going to get, by the way? What? And this is not, I'm not spoiling anything. I think they're going to reissue the Christopher Reeve Superman. Oh, oh yeah. I'm sure they will. That's and I good, think that they'd be because it's, you know, I have that figure. It's a great figure, but I would love to see the head sculpt just made. <laughs> better i mean they could do a flash line of dc heroes inspired by the flash uh, robert i want to ask you a question about that because i've seen wow, pictures this, this figure is dope as fuck. it is it's amazing, it's look amazing. At his gauntlets look at his gauntlets what i like is the gauntlets look like they were taken from the dark knight comics did you see the way they're squared they're much different than his original yeah. oh it, look at this god this figure is so cool and can you go back one? As did, I think they're going to offer that. That no, no, right there. One more for that. That I think that's going to be a separate cape. It's going to just be folded. Oh, okay, okay. Because when you look at when you look at the end, you know where they show you every accessory. It's not like the original 1989 where you had to put the poles inside. This I believe. I believe. I'm not 100 percent positive. I believe it's going to be a separate. You know, one piece that's just open. Does it come with three faces? Like three, the uh, three faces, three wow, faces. Those plates. are all look at the one on the right with that. Yeah, that, that that's so the Michael Keaton grimace. I, like that. Kind of, I really like this. Yeah, that's cool. They're all cool. <clears throat> that, <clears throat> oh my god. So he's so badass. Do you think you look think Ghost I mean, will make the uh, bad the gauntlet, the that's from Dark Knight. It's not like what he had in 1989. I, I love the gauntlet. No, this is this is um. This it's suit cool. is a mesh between the original suit and the Batman Returns suit. Yeah, it's so cool. And by the way, it looks so badass in the movie. Yes. I think I like you, know, you get the you get the um cow. You get the cow. I think people are going to really like the film just because it's so much fun to watch. I want to see well, Ben Affleck's Batman suit. I said I said on uh I said when I saw the trailer this could be awful mm. but also, the trailer by the trailer, it could just be a good romp. It it's so much fun to watch. It'll just put a smile on your face the whole way through the movie. And, well, I listened you know, to, to Chris Gore's spoiler free review. Well, you know, I, I watched that too, and I love Chris, but I was like, dude, all he talked about was like Michael Keaton, Batman, and all this, and I'm like, how well, that's, do you? That's not... what I'm going. That, that's what I'm going for. <laughs> But the rest of the movie is, is actually really fun. It's just a fun movie to watch. And you don't know what, what I thought was crazy about it was you don't know where it's going to go. Like, what I love mean? seeing it. You movie, didn't know? Like, so when you, when you went to see it, Robert, did it also cut off the, the same point where it cut off yes. the crit? Yes. At the end of the movie, it, it <laughs> yes. It, so what happens is they, they, it cut off right before the credits. Yeah. And, and, um, it, all this stuff because happens. something happens which we won't tell you y yes and they didn't want us to know but yes. it's where it ended it was it was the kind of thing like what yes <laughs> it was and it was it was i love that because now i'm gonna go i really want to go see it with the crowd because it was a really and i've told people people have said to me um it feels it has nothing to do with this movie and just because it has time travel involved it has nothing to do with this movie but it felt to me like watching Back to the Future in terms of Back really? to the Future is so much fun to watch. From like the very beginning when you see the camera panning over all the clocks and then you see the dog food cans because Doc Brown's gone and Einstein's gone. Now, there's even a long extended, and I, I was feeling it was like Back to the Future, even though it has no nothing in terms of plot. But then the movie incorporates a running gag about Back to the Future that has a phenomenal payoff. yeah yeah I, I yeah I've heard yeah yeah yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And, I, and, I know what it is yeah yeah and it it was so good and, and it was just like I was like I can't believe they're going there because it's kind well, there's, of a, there's plenty of footage yeah yeah it's kind of a deep cut I mean but but it was it was funny that that's what they were using like how do you know you're in an alternate universe well here's how you know and yeah and it was really funny and it, it was so well done and the movie is i mean despite ezra miller's problems and it's funny because in the movie ezra miller is truly a they because he's playing or they are playing two versions of themselves it's hard it's hard to talk 
I know it's hard to talk. He's a about. he. Can we? I mean, well, I mean, Flash I know, is a I know, I know you're playing. I know you're 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 doing the the correct the politically correct thing. Sure. But at the end of the day, Ezra Miller is a man. I just want to. He know, can. Want, he can want call to what himself. What, I know. No, I don't. You don't get in trouble, Robert. I'll get in trouble. Uh, you can call yourself what you want, but you're a man. Okay. Well, in, in the movie, though, you know, he plays. There's no prisons they for days. He, there's two flashes. Let's just say that. Yeah, and, but they've uh, shown that. They've shown that in all the trailers. So that's yeah, true. yeah, yeah. And and it's the the performance. I have always been a fan of Ezra Miller as an actor. We have really? to talk about. We have to talk about Kevin. Have you ever seen that movie? No, no. Oh, I, he plays. A, I he play, they play a school shooter. I don't particularly like Ezra Miller as an actor. I don't like Soy Boys. I don't. Well, I, I just don't. I don't gravitate towards him as a person. I don't think that he's a a, a a superstar. I uh there's nothing about him that that interests me. Even well, people say- in even infamous assholes like let's just say Bill Murray, an infamous asshole, okay? I'm very interested in Bill Murray because he's an interesting man. You know? Sure. Uh Harrison Ford, he he's he's known for being a a, a, a mopey uh disinterested, you know, very bad in- but I'm interested in him as a, as a person because as an actor, just like Bill Murray, previous Bill Murray, certainly not latter day Bill Murray. But when they go into the when that when they go in front of the camera, my God, they 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 absolutely steal it. Yeah, of they, they they steal when they're there. Ezra Miller doesn't do that to me. He never has. He doesn't have he's that. Never, he's never exhibited any anything <clears throat> of interest that I that I could gravitate towards. Um, so I am um, th- this hook. If this was a flash movie, period, end of, right. I'd have no interest, none. But well, this is my interest, that is my interest, right there. Look, by the way, I'm so distracted by this picture. How I've already great. bought it, by the way, right? Somebody asked, it's a $305 and it's a $30 deposit because they asked how much is the deposit. Yeah, it was like about, it's about 250 pounds UK. Um, okay. I did have a a twenty dollar voucher, twenty five dollar voucher, right, and I did have a little bit of uh, credit with oh. uh, Sideshow. Sweet. By the way, so, right. Sideshow charged me yesterday three hundred bucks, mm-hmm. and I I went on to my Sideshow account, and I cannot. It does not show what they charge me for. Just call up customer service. They have yeah. the best customer service. They, they're awesome. I love. I just thought it was cool. I'm like, what am I getting? Well, they they took quite a bit from me. Yesterday and then I and then, yeah a couple of days ago, and I do know what it's for. What is it? Uh, it's for my quarter scale, uh, <laughs> the Dark Knight Rises Batman. Oh, did I order that? Which no, I was hoping might arrive today, and I uh, it didn't. So uh, I got a feeling I'm going to get a, a a text in the morning from DHL saying it's arriving today. Uh, but yeah, my quarter because I've got the quarter scale Batman Begins up there, and the quarter this is the quarter scale Dark Knight Rises, Rises yeah, because it's got the additional accessories that the 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 Dark Knight quarter scale doesn't have. So it's kind of right. like the best of both worlds with that. Well, it has, as if I remember, it has the uh, Dark Knight accessories with the light in the eyes. Yeah, it's got the, the Dark Knight accessories, yeah. but it's yeah. also got the Dark Knight Rises yeah, accessories. I know, it's cool. Yeah, yeah. I really like the fact that. Because the original quarter scale from Hot Toys of the Dark Knight Rises came with the masks, the one for Bane, the Joker. And this one yeah, has yeah. them cut into the... Buy this. Into the base. Oh, yeah, buy, buy this. that. Most definitely. I mean, I, 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 you know, if you say, well, as, you know, I, I don't care. I don't care. Buy this. But how would you compare this suit, Robert, to Affleck's suit in the movie? Because I haven't seen, I haven't gotten any well, really good Affleck's shots of it in the trailer. Well, Affleck's suit in the movie is kind of weird. To be honest, yes. it, it 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 has it, it has like it looks like almost like girders, like mm. a bridge or something. Like it, it has, kind of, so, yeah, yeah. It's like some kind of a, because he's doing crazy shit in the movie the, that it strains credulity a little bit. Did you know, his bike? That, I like his bike in the trailer. Well, McFarlane Toys has miscolored it. Oh, I didn't know that. because the McFarlane's toys versions are out, and I own them, and they're in my. No, I showed them off, but oh, that, oh, right, right, yeah, yeah. Uh, but they they've miscolored it because um, the uh, the Affleck suit is actually gray blue. It's proper, but it's gray blue Batman. 
Yes. Really? Um, and there's also a Michael Keaton gray blue costume briefly cool. seen in the movie as well. Which, if they want to do that, yeah, smiles. All smiles. Um, and so, uh, yeah, so you got this gray blue with the exoskeleton, but on the McFarlane toy, it's just black. Well, as did you get the bat wing for Michael Keaton's Batman that McFarlane put out? Because I saw that on McFarlane's, and it was beautiful. But I'm just waiting I, I, that's from the right. Flash movie. Yeah, yeah, right. from the Flash movie, which is different than the the an uh, eighty nine movie. Right. Um, I didn't, and I'll here. tell you why. Okay. If juiced, he is doing it. Yeah. <laughs> decides to do that uh then i i would i would pick that up yeah i think i would like uh because the the mcfarlane multiverse thing toys i don't know ultimately if i'm actually going to group them together and liquidate them as a huge batman lot oh mm. or a huge dc lot in 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 part of the 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 liquidation process which i'll be doing some of the stuff so i, I gotta make it you know a little a little thought about that when the mod, when the other additional mod cases come, I can make some decisions as regards to what's going to go where. Because I, so I had an idea, and 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 now I've actually had a different idea about certain things that I want to do. Because I'm thinking maybe the top row of the DF nineties with the DF uh, DF one twenty with the DF sixty. I'm thinking maybe even have the the top row of them uh, have the statues. Mm. Okay. Uh, put the statues in there, and and then just have this big row of of the DC statues going into the resident evil statues going into the car dune going into the uh faye valentine and uh maybe that'll also give me space for a uh, couple of couple of more maybe well if so you're little, told, little things little things little if things. you're talking about batman i mm. unboxed the other day this it's my only one six scale statue it was a batman because i told you i like one third scale yeah yeah Ooh, that's really cool. Who makes that? Yeah, that's the one. That, yeah, I like one, one quarter. Three. I like quarter scale statues. One four. I thought this was too small, so I'm like, I got to get rid of it. But when I unbox it, I'm like, Come it's on, really I nice agree. though. It's really good. It is. It's from XM. Oh, okay. XM Studios. Yep. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah. You see, if that was if that was quarter scale with a with a uh, posable cape, that'd be mm. absolutely insane. Right. I'm just giving everybody a good look. So yeah, it's it's got a great sculpt, really great paint work. Yeah, the liquidation is going to be for the um, for the mortgage see. fund. For the mortgage fund, oh, okay. Yeah, that's what oh, the liquidation yeah. money will do. That that will just go into the mortgage fund. Maybe. Oh yeah, because hold on, Robert. Last time we spoke last week, and uh, there was the Optimus Prime, two thousand eight hundred pounds. You and I said, it, Robert, I have got to be, I have got to be, you know, the answer can't always be yeah. Which yes, Optimus are you talking about? So, and I know, I know, I know, Robert. So I actually, I did a compromise, Robert. I did a compromise. That's not a word we hear on this show. No, I know, bad but word, it's a word, word that we're going to have to get used to bad when word. I've got a mortgage fund again. So what I did is I took a thousand pounds from my, from my, Mortgage fund? No, no, no. I put that. I put a thousand. I, I took a thousand pounds from my spent. You know, my account that's used for bills, food, toys, everything, and I put that into the mortgage fund. Mm -hmm. oh, that's good. Okay, responsible. Oh. Then I took. <laughs> then I took a, a and uh, and I decided to uh, get. Uh, a compromise. So I ended up getting the Leon <laughs> from Resident Evil statue, which was which was much less than the Optimus Prime statue. Which and, Prime? To go, and to go together with my Ada Wong statue. Uh, I, I must have missed this as which Prime are you talking about? The XM Studios Optimus Prime statue. Gotcha. So the one we were talking about before you. You were looking last at week, the, one. the one we were looking at, like showed you about last, talked about last week. That was, but that was that's you know two thousand eight hundred pound. Look, right, it, it'll come down. If, if come I'm down. spent, if I'm going to spend two thousand eight hundred pound on a statue, it's going to be the ultimate Batman statue. Okay, right. I, I couldn't. I, I mean, I love Optimus. I couldn't. I couldn't because yeah, even the, even the Rodimus Prime statue, which I thought was an excruciating amount of money, was one thousand two hundred. 
I, I will say one thing. You're not missing out. You're not missing out. You're not missing out on anything. It, it's a lesson that I learned over the last three yeah. years. And the whole statue that already comes out paid today. For the, well, I've already paid for the Galvatron statue as well. That's all paid for. Right. Just, just, rem, just and, remember and the, the Rodimus and the Galvatron combined, George, don't even come to the Optimus Prime statue. No, no, I know, but I'm saying I, I used to be that way. I would get stressed out because I, I want to complete a collection. But I started noticing that as time passed, there's always someone who's going to produce the same, you know, another Optimus, another mm. Batman. It's going to be better. You are never going to miss out. And they'll even make it in the same stance, the same the, the same shape, everything. It's just a year down the road or two years or three years. Oh, yeah. I've just yeah, seen yeah. it happen over the last 10 years. It's just there always will be a better one and cheaper. The, yeah, I mean, these, these statues are expensive. They are cheaper. expensive, but they're freaking beautiful. Damn. They're absolutely beautiful. This, uh, hey, if I just click this, I just did this silly picture saying, how much geek can you fit into one picture? I don't <laughs> even try. I literally just held up the camera and you've got all these 4Ks, Battle Royale, anime, you know, the full, sort of like Marvel, the full Batman. Uh, you've got the uh, PlayStation 2 VR. You've got the Superman Steel Box. Uh, you've got the Luke Skywalker uh, FX saber you've got the azrael batman statue that's the most you know that's the biggest best biggest and best statue i've got the rodimus prime statue the leon the ada the two two bloody doctor who the batman chess king shark bunch of lego down there you know so but but if you look at these i mean hot oh, damn when i open up that leon I... and by the way oh just as a little extra just as a little extra these statues are limited to 500 pieces, okay? Yeah, I like that. Robert's about frozen. Wow, uh, the that. Ada is about, I think, <clears throat> when I got it through, because they come with certificates of authenticity as well. Is that the Hot Toys King Shark? Yes. Wow, I got to get that. Well, it's, it's great. Here's so the, 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 the Ada, I think, mm. was about, I don't know, 363, 383 out of 500. Oh, okay. Wow. My and those Leon, are my scale, Leon, right? yeah, yeah, these are quarter scale. My okay. Leon is number one. That's a very oh. tasteful corner, by the way. It, it's it's very, not bad, is it? It's a very tasteful corner. I like I'm, it. I'm, I'm, I'm quite enjoying. That's very tasteful. It doesn't look. Uh, these aren't it, meant it, to be. Wait, these, these have got to go. These, is that this, the this, arrow? This Do I spy mm -hmm. the arrow battle royale box set there? Yes. Oh man, your my estimation of you was already. It's gone, up. <laughs> it's gone up. You have the Arrow Battle Royale box set. Good yeah, for you, good on you, sir. One wow. uh, Battle Royale is one of my favorite movies of all time, Robert. I wasn't. I well, I knew you were a man of wealth and taste, but now <laughs> I I know that for sure. Well, Look a lot that. of the wealth is unfortunately there, <laughs> not in the wallet. It's now there. Uh, hey, you but, know uh, what? Wherever your money resides, it might not be liquid, but it's there. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, it's 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 money. It's the money I can look at, and I'm okay yeah. with that. I'm okay with that. And chicks for free. And chicks for free. Die straight. It's money for nothing. I shared this the first time you had me on as, yes. remember? Oh, yeah. And they put it on hold in September. It's going up for pre-order. Oh. The full, the full, yeah, you can buy it wow. in pieces. It's the it's from XM Studios. Oh, I'll show God. you everything that comes. It's XM that's doing this. Yeah, yeah. Dude. Oh, I know. my God. But this will all be painted. Up? This will all be painted. I'll be painted. I'll be painted. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh, dude. And you'll that... have different cars, you know. So, you so know. yeah. So that's it's, from the comics. It's, that's, it's a that's comic book comics, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this right here, where you see the hand, that's going to have you know, the ability to have water. Yes. What? So, yeah, that's yeah. the That's the water feature that I wanted for a back cave. There you go. I'm going to get it. So Dude, how many pieces is that? What does that cost? Like ten thousand. Uh, they haven't said no, no, no. Yes. It's supposed to be under two thousand. That's because it's one thirtieth. Right. Oh. When you okay. see the guy, okay. you see the gentleman in the back. You can see how. Big yeah, he's it is, like, right? holy shit! It's massive. Yeah, it's massive at one thirtieth. People ask him, "Can you do it in one six? And yeah. they're like, "Do you have a home to store it in?" <laughs> they asked the CEO, "Can you do this in one six? He's like, "Yeah, if you got the money and a home." 
just for the game. This doesn't X. Who makes the Godzilla uh, King Kong diorama? That's five thousand dollars. Is that Prime exactly? One Studios? I want oh, that that's, so bad. Yeah, that's five thousand. Oh. Yeah, I want that. I clicked so bad. on that so many times, but you know what I did? That stupid. No, no. Well, you do the payment schedule, and each month I was like, yes, no, yes. But as each month went by, the the monthly payment went up, and I'm like, oh no. You know, originally it starts at like. 200 a month and the next one's like 400 a month it was like i, I just can't i just can't justify because i'm not i mean i love godzilla just, well if you, know. you insist <laughs> yeah, I mean, if, if you insist i want it so bad no, I, I, I'm gonna, up, I'm that thing gonna, is so I, badass but you Elizabeth. See, that is gonna come from the non-mortgage fund fund <laughs> so you have the mortgage fund the non-mortgage fund the yeah. non-mortgage mortgage fund yeah well i get i get i get Paid by the tube. Right. And then I take a portion of that and that goes into the mortgage fund that don't get touched. Okay. That's 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 reasonable. And then what's left over after bills, you know, right. everything. What left over? That me. Yeah, and then you that's why you got that payment me. plans. <laughs> yeah. But I do but I do like because now I'm no longer doing business with hot toys, uh, with hot toys, with toys one like oh. ever fucking again. Uh, I'm doing what I used to do with Toys Wonderland now with with Sideshow, which is just if I get it like a hot toy, like with the Keaton hot toy today, I I just pay it off immediately because then it's gone. There's no. Oh, so you're I not do doing it, the payment? I, no, I, I I would do a payment if it was a juiced. Um, oh, okay, vehicle. okay. If it's a juiced vehicle, then I'll I'll put it down on a payment scheme of twelve months or something. Yeah, you there's know? no way before when Marvel was at its peak. I could never pay them all off. It, I would just be like, I didn't. Yeah, the, the payment plan came in handy at that time. It was like, you know, put a few points, try to get it around 30 bucks a month. I think that's my first hot toy that I've pulled the trigger on for a while. That's good. And it's sort of, obviously, it's not going to come out for about another year and a half. Or oh, that's the other thing you said. His figures would not would come out every four, would come out in 14 months. The Going around that hot toys model, just for the quality. And he wouldn't go above a thousand. Well, for his figures, because remember he's going to do a whole new line. He's going to start doing figures, and so people were asking him because he did. He went on some show. I can't remember the name of it. It was twenty four hours ago, and they were like, "Are you going to do like the in art thing, which was supposed to be every six months, but it hasn't worked out that way? Are you going uh, to do, do the hot toys thing where it's almost every two years?" He's like, "No, about fourteen months." About 14 months. So he's going to go to Phil. Like he says, he's going to make the Alfreds and the Penguins and like the Alfred from the Batman movie and the Selena Kyle. The stuff that Hot Toys and the other people haven't picked up. This is, gonna, now, this is, this is, this is, this is, this is twisting my melon, man. Yeah. I'm liking this. That's why I said when I heard that, he's going to do the Penguin. Like he was asked, are you going to do the Joker since Mars Toys did that phenomenal Joker, which is kind of like one of the figures well, of the year. Well, that's what I'm concerned about. I mean, I'm concerned about if he said, well, I'm going to do Batman from Batman Returns. He's like, well, that's already been done. Right, so, but he so said really the how, Penguin how... wasn't done. So he's like, or no, no, Catwoman. No. So he's going to do the figures that weren't done first, unless yeah, you yeah, had yeah. Get an overwhelming... Unless you get an overwhelming amount of support, he's going to do what he always does. You want me to do another Batman Returns Michael Keaton figure with we want to add, you know, these 30 accessories instead of the five? Or you want the Selena Kyle and Penguin? Now, here's the only problem that no one brought up to him. Because I said, you know, he said Warner Brothers, he's got the license everywhere except for Korea and Vietnam. Except Danny DeVito 20 years ago said he will never allow. That's why there's never been a 1-6. Hot Toys want to make it. He will never allow. Uh, his face to be used for the penguin figure. He just doesn't like the way it, it it looked. That's why there's always knockoffs. He hated the way he came out. I don't know why, but well, it came out great. I, I, that's I weird. Love it. I, I just recently watched the doc, the behind the scenes for Batman Return. And did he say and, different? And, and he, yeah, yeah. He says completely different. He 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 really likes. Believe me, Prime One out. tried. Hot Toys tried. That's why you don't see one. And so he has to, which I didn't realize this till about Around two years ago. talking, gentlemen, BRB. Yeah, I, I didn't realize this till two years ago. Robert, you can fill me in, you know, Hollywood. When they get a license from a studio, I thought that was it. But two years ago, I was told that, no, then they have to actually go to the actor. Yes, that, that is I thought the actor turns over their rights when they sign their contract. Like, if you're doing Batman, Michael Keaton's, you know, the Warner Brothers can then sell that. 
No, no, it 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 depends what the actor has negotiated uh, mm. in their contract. And so one of the reasons, I mean, Hot Toys, every time they go back and do like an Iron Man, mm. they have to renegotiate with Robert Downey Jr. And and it's a weird, I know it's weird to think 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 of that, but it's true because um, you know, actors have merchandising in their contracts. Right. So, and it depends. Some actors took care of it, you know, like Star Wars, I think that they signed their likenesses away a long time ago. That's what I um, thought. And from what I understand, like Star Trek, that William Shatner and, and Leonard Nimoy, I heard, and, and now I can't verify that this is true, but, you know, 30 years ago, they were each paid $25 million for their their likeness really? rights in, perpet in perpetuity forever. Wow. So, How is that going to be affected in the future? Like with what they did in um, Rogue One, where they had the digital Princess well, Leia. I, well, I think that we are we are in a world where that is a very... Actors are going to license... Like James Earl Jones famously has now sold the rights to his voice to be Darth Vader forever. They've digitized his voice. He sold it to Disney. He can give that money away to his next of kin. I think that's going to be a big deal because now like from this stream, people can clone our voices. Mm. And I mean, I read the other day that um, it's probably a good bet that if you're a public figure or you're involved in that, you should have a code word for anybody that you talk to and your code word, you tell who your loved ones or whoever, what your code word is. Okay. So they know that you're, you who are who you say you are. Wow. Yeah, I mean it's such a weird. It's I didn't such know a weird, that. Wow. Yeah. By the because, way, you should also you should also have a code word uh, for you're in trouble. Uh, yes. You should. So yeah. if if you if you're on the phone to your family, you need you need to sort out a code word with your family. So if you Fine. drop that into the conversation, it means I'm on the phone, but I'm in trouble. Like fuck, I'm in trouble. Yeah. yeah. Get the police. Yeah. Like I'm. What? I'm. Are you, are you guys going to order a pizza? That might be your code phrase or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And it's got to be something. You should, you should and, always and, have stuff like that, folks. Always. I mean, we're we're in a a. Here's the thing. But how the, will it work, Robert? How will it work? I'm sorry because it's the it's what we're talking about. How will it work when this technology is perfected, and you go, okay, we're we're gonna make a new John Wayne movie, and we're gonna make his figure. Whoops. I guess. R George. What the hell? Can you stop antagonizing Robert? No, I just got to keep needling. It's just it's getting out of hand today, George. I, just I tried to give you the benefit of the doubt earlier. I, I thought it was Robert, Greek. but it's clearly your agitation. <laughs> he just can't handle the full Greek. <laughs> <laughs> probably, probably not. <laughs> no, but that's a question. What do you think will happen as when you have this technology perfected? Like Robert was saying that James Earl Jones signed over his rights to his voice as Darth yep. Vader. Right. Okay. So what happens when Mark Hamill signed over his rights, Harrison Ford signed over his rights. Right. But what's the next step then would be that they can create the actual person. Yes. The persona, even with yes. the voice and where they don't need yes. the actor. Yes. Correct. Okay, so an actor would just... It's a really so, good idea in this age of AI technology that's that's getting closer and closer every day, particularly with technologies which have been used in movies. Mm -hmm. It's really smart to go on strike. <laughs> I, I'm glad you brought that up. You know who was there at the strike? It was Seven of Nine in Stashwick. They had pictures of it. They, they were. They, they're like Star Trek, you know, supports... Yeah, I also saw the sign for the writers saying, pew, pew, this would be Star Trek without writers. And I thought to myself, you couldn't, you didn't know which way to hold a phaser in Discovery. Right. Oh she my had God. the phaser pointed at her. I wish you pulled the fucking trigger. <laughs> no. Wait, hang on a second. You said, how does it work with John What? I was saying John Wayne. Yeah, because I thought maybe I was just telling Matt he couldn't handle the full Greek and he said, fuck it, I'm out of here. <laughs> well, well, out. well, it's okay. It's, John Wayne. So tomorrow the technology is going to be perfected and they go, we want to make a new John Wayne movie and then we want to make a John Wayne figure. Like, do they just do it on their own? Is that pass? Is that have a copyright date to it in the state? Theor theoretically, 
you would have to go to the John Wayne estate mm-hmm. and license it. But but here's here's the real question. The the because I've been doing a lot of op-ed pieces on my own channel about AI and things like that. For me, we're gonna have to ask ourselves, like I've had people say, Hey, hey, if 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 you can have AI generated characters, why not make a Star Wars movie with Luke Han and Leia? Yeah. And and so there's a lot of people mm-hmm. that have grown up in a world where that's okay with them. You know, mm-hmm. you can my whole thing is this. I think we are reaching an inflection point where our civilization is going to have to come to, like I've said that I think the 21st century is going to be the century where authenticity becomes mm-hmm. the great yeah. currency. So when people tune in and watch YouTube, they're watching us because they know we are our authentic selves. Whether you like me or think I'm a, a monumental douchebag, at least you know you're getting me. Mm-hmm. You're you're getting me uncut, unfiltered, and or as or you, George. Mm. People will tune in because they know that we're who we say we are. And and I think that it's going to be very and by the way, this is coming at us like a freight train. We, no we are, I know. No, there's no know. stop in it. There's there's no stopping it. And the real question is, I honestly believe this is going to get a little philosophical and weird. Right. When you watch a movie, everything in a movie that you're watching is made up. Mm-hmm. It's all fake. You know, you have people, everything is fake. You know, you're you might be shooting at a real restaurant location, but the conver- you're watching people who are saying lines that were written for them. You're seeing light of the lighting has been made up. Everything's been made up. The camera is in a position. So watching movies, we understand subconsciously that they're all made up, but we also know that we're watching real people in the frame. Yes. And, and at the end of the day, when you watch Harrison Ford or you watch Willem Dafoe, or you watch Tobey Maguire or Ben Affleck or Matt Damon, whoever you want, whoever your favorite actor is, you know that twinkle in their eyes is a genuine human <laughs> twinkle. Right. And I, oh, I think part, part of the appeal of movies in general or t- great TV shows is we know that those are real people in the frame. Right, can now, I we pose also... a question to you then, Robert? Yes. Uh, I'm going to make a statement. You tell me, agree, disagree, and we'll go from there. Tom Cruise is the last movie star. Yeah, I I totally agree with that. Okay, and Denzel yeah. watching him. All right. Uh, well, not, yeah. By I the think... way, I'm, I'm not I'm not trapping you into anything. I'm not trying to. Trap no, no, you no, no, no. But, uh, but I think Denzel that said. Then is the question: Are we any longer invested in the in in the movie star? And if we're I, not, I, does I, this therefore matter? Well, okay. That's a th- now. These are this is a very good question you're 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 posing and i would say george first of all denzel washington is absolutely a movie star but the thing is he also is not starring in movies like mission impossible mm. like i love the equalizer, equalizer. i know that I number three is coming out and the third one looks so good oh yes it looks so good so so and denzel washington is one of my favorite actors i'll watch anything he's in i don't care and he's directing yeah, now he, he, he the guy can do no wrong i mean he's, he's an amazing Oh, he's so based. It's, mm. I love. Oh, he's so based. Um, I, I love him to death. But here's here's the thing: a movie star, I think by definition, is somebody that will open a movie at a hundred million dollars. Okay, you know, you're and and I think if if the star is in the right, like Brad Pitt has been in a lot of movies that made no money. Yeah. I'm a huge Brad Pitt fan, but you know when he opened like like a Tree of Life. That movie made no money. It's great. You're movie. talking about how it used to be where they go, this star can anchor the film and he could carry yeah. it all just because of his name. Like, yeah, Tom, when it used to be. Uh, I mean, Tom Cruise has, has ebbed and flowed Tom too. Tom, yeah, Tom right. Hanks. But, but Tom Cruise <laughs> has, he's positioned himself, especially in the last 20 years, as a movie star. Right. Like, people will go, I'll, I'll go just to watch him run. <laughs> that's why they show him running in the new mission Impossible trailer so much but here's the thing the question you asked as i mean we all are watching like when i play ghosts of tsushima oh, i'm yeah, I i'm really i'm really invested in that main character who's a, a motion captured digital construct it's not a real did person. you get the one yeah. in six? Oh, yes, i got I the statue that figure is amazing 
amazing. Yes. It, I when, when I opened the box, I was like, oh my God. Because I love my samurai figures. It's it's amazing. But so the thing is, in, in our new, in our if you're a younger person and, you, and you've grown up playing games like whether it's Grand Theft Auto or Ghost of Tsushima or Red Dead Redemption or or um, Mass Effect or Halo, take your pick. You know, yeah. your your Tomb Raider. You are used to um, following those characters, those people that don't they're not real. Mm -hmm. So, but they're but but you will you will watch and be involved in a narrative that they're in. So, I think it's a generational thing. I really think that younger people are already used to following digital characters so when digital luke skywalker shows up at the end of mandalorian season two sure. everyone's like awesome because they're seeing the character yeah they're seeing luke skywalker and, and remember and, the game industry is three times bigger than hollywood three times bigger than hollywood and uh, you're absolutely right and i think that mm -hmm. there it's a it's a generational thing i really do and, and here's 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 what's here's what's really going to blow your mind so let's say you're a fan of david fincher in mm -hmm. five or oh, ten years, all of <laughs> but, well, me too. All of David Fincher's movies are going to be digitized somewhere, mm -hmm. and and AI will know what focal length, what what lens they used for every single shot. Mm -hmm. So you'll be able to be like, you'll be able to say using the right prompts, you'll be able to go, I want a David Fincher like movie. Yes, I want a movie where David Fincher directed, and I want it to star John Wayne. I want it to star uh, Steve McQueen, mm -hmm. and I want it to star Marilyn Monroe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and mm -hmm. you'll wait, and you'll get, a, and, and I want it to be a comedy, uh, whatever. I don't think Finch is particularly good for a comedy. Type, yeah, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Type what you want, first. and you'll get a. It'll be very you'll dark. Get, you'll get a, yeah, I know, right? You'll get a, a Marilyn Monroe's raped and murdered. Yes, and yeah, to, yeah, yeah. John Wayne Amazing. has to figure out who did who did it. Well, Pilgrim. She, won't, she just won't be raped, Robert. She oh, yeah. Has to, she'd be ass raped. Yeah, it'll you know be terrible. I mean? With a knife, with a giant knife, like yeah. in the seven. And Leland Orser will be the one who did it. Um, uh, so it'll, it, <laughs> but we're, we're going to get that. And you'll be able to, to you'll be able to, to, Star Wars starring John Wayne as Harrison Ford. We're, we're going there. Yeah, and, on and, your and, Millennium Falcon and get out <laughs> of the dust. Right, but I, you think it's gonna? You think it's gonna? I, I Dude, think there's a certain generation that's not gonna take to it. I just think there's. A certain... I think the modern generation is gonna love it because you know what's the modern, gonna help the gamers. Yeah. Well, people are gonna they're gonna love the fact because they've already grown up with this world. They're gonna mm -hmm. love the fact that everyone's gonna be able to. I made a movie today. I yes. directed a movie. So today. you're saying the same Click. way YouTube. So you're saying the same way YouTube, where you create your own content. You're going to say it's going to be the similar. Well, these tools aren't going to be available, George. They're going to be readily available. These tools. They're 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 going to be everywhere. A lot of them already are. So uh, someone's going to yeah. put as in a three way with uh, the final with fan. YouTube. With but, YouTube. But, <laughs> yeah, but, but, <laughs> but uh, the big tube. But but here's 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 the thing. The the question is the question is. When that happens, and it's going to happen, how are we as human beings? I mean, this is going to happen, by the way, to all forms of art. Okay, I mean, what not happens like to the actors? Ballet. What happened? The actors they don't need them anymore. No, they're, they're gone. No, they don't need George, actors. They don't George, need writers. That's exactly what I'm saying. Right. So, but the actors, at least they used to, they used to sell the films because exactly. you had the celebrity who goes to the red carpet, who goes to the, the, the dinner. All, to... all, all of that is gone. Okay. It's all gone. It's, it, it's all gone. And, and that's why authenticity, because I think it's going to last, it's going to be a big fad. People are going to make their own movies. Mm -hmm. They're going to be so far up their own asses and everyone's like, I'm a director now. Me, 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 me. You know, how do you program? And, Charisma, presence, Anthony Hopkins well, style, Denzel Washington. You won't. You won't have to because eventually the algorithms will figure it out. Presence. They're, they're you're figure talking it out. about a philosophical question of what is it that that spark? Well, How do you yeah. define? <laughs> and I think you're never going to quite get there mm. because, but eventually, it's all going to be quantifiable. It just comes yep. down to what is it? it it's only going to. It's all a matter of time before it becomes quantifiable. We we are we are as human beings we are going to watch in our lifetimes. Thank God I'm only going to be around on this planet for maybe 25 years if I'm lucky. Um, and that's not to be morbid. I'm just. You give be me old. 25 more years, now I'll take it. 
<laughs> yeah, you I mean, just I, need to have, you just need to have more of the inverted. You know, your that's, last line. That's right. I, I tell I tell you what, Robert. <laughs> what what happened? What happens when something rises such a degree? Let's let's just say AI rises to such a degree. The the um, mapping of of actors' faces, the voice, the everything. Right. Let's just say they get the pros down correctly as well. What happens? I'll tell you what happens. Uh, we get. Um, I can't. Brain's just gone dead. I'm gonna we make get, a we get we get we count, get we get counterculture. Well, that's, so so that's what exactly will happen is exactly happen. what your is authenticity will then become the currency because become? because we'll get counterculture. Counter yeah. what the studio? Okay. So yeah. so instead so what a young director or just say a director, but a director will come along mm -hmm. regardless, male, female, black, white. It won't matter. They'll come along and they'll say, "I want real people." in a real situation, in a real location, and they'll become thing. the counterculture. Right. And then the counterculture will then become cult status. Yeah. That's and then exactly. cult status will then develop into the new mainstream. Right. You're you're so, a hundred percent right. That's it. That's what's gonna and it's gonna be really interesting because you know the, the funny thing about AI is AI can't create something that hasn't already been created. Created, right. right. Because it's not really AI. Everyone's talking about AI, AI. AI literally means artificial intelligence. There is no intelligence here. Right. Because we what, haven't what, crossed what, the singularity right now. No, it's just a bunch the, of programming yes. to look like. Yeah. Yes, we, haven't so, got, we haven't got a positronic brain yet. <laughs> no. And, and what George said, like, so there's a guy named Ray Kurzweil. Yeah, he wrote a book called dude. The Coming Singularity. And yeah. and what he, the singularity, I mean, I call my channel, my audience members, the post geek singularity yeah. because yeah. geek went mainstream. But when I was growing up, there was just a little bit of a, a, a very small group of us. And now it's everybody. Now everyone's a fucking Marvel fan and everybody loves Star Wars and all science fiction. It, it, science fiction, fantasy, and horror. That's what the, the, the geek singularity exploded. We're all geeks. Everybody's a geek now. But when until when artificial intelligence becomes self-aware that's what the singularity is yeah the singularity. so so that's true artificial intelligence and we don't even know i think the best depiction of artificial intelligence is in the movie her oh, scarlett yeah. johansson yeah yeah if you uh, watch that Joaquin film because, Phoenix. Joaquin. yeah because because and and by the way that has one of my favorite reveals it when i was watching that movie i was like oh you shit. talking about the when, ending well when joaquin phoenix says well how many people are you talking to right now Right. And she's like, like 6,492. Yeah. And, <laughs> and you're just like, I was watching. I was like, oh, yeah, my Yeah, he thought it was God. just him. Yeah. Just him. And I'm like, oh, my God. That's the future. And I thought that. And then at the end of that, the AI the AI says, well, we've there's other dimensions that you have no. We, we right. have no idea what that means. And they go off to wherever that place is. I don't think that artificial intelligence. I mean, some people say that when artificial intelligence becomes self-aware they look at like well all the problems on earth are caused by human beings so you get rid of human beings and you stop all the problems on earth well because they're I, thinking about it as in a in a binary format as yeah and they're one, thinking one. about it from a human perspective right, yeah and yeah and i i think that that it's di that's why i liked her because they were thinking about it in different a different perspective but the real the real thing is like uh, uh for me it's what does it mean to be human? We have to ask, we're not very good at asking ourselves, what do we, uh, there's a book. We're very I good at talk, telling people, Robert. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a really interesting book that was written by an Israeli like historian called uh, Sapiens. And it's basically a really fun history of a hundred thousand years of humanity. And it's a, it, it goes into a lot of history and, but it takes us up to the modern age. And at the end of the book, the guy's name is Yuval Harari. And Harari asks, we as a race, the one race of human beings on this planet, we as a race have to ask ourselves, who do we want to be moving forward? I mean, we live lives of quiet desperation, so no one's asking those big questions. And everybody's at each, other, at each other's throats. But in the long term, who does humanity want to be? What do we want to be? What do we want to do? Mm -hmm. Where do we want to go? And no one's asking the question. And Yuval Harari wrote another book called Homo Deus, which is uh, about... I, I understand. Homo Deus, he brought up a, an interesting point, is how, how humanity, though, can get stuck in that teenage, emotionally developed stage where we're stuck right now. A lot yes, of people yeah, 100%, 100%. I, I'd say we're into the fucking 
pu pre pubescent phase now. To be honest, yeah, no I mean, culture, no society has ever really successfully gone past that. Rome collapsed, Phoenician yeah, collapsed. Everybody, yeah, no we all. I, I mean, well, the argue there's there is a uh, co constant on the fall of a civilization, by the way, yeah. and we're at it right now. Well, it, 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 to me, we're, we're in a we're in wackadoo land. I mean, where where common sense has taken a, a, a leave of its senses, and it's like I understand that everybody wants to be. I think that for the most part, we want to be nice to one another, but everything that we're doing now is denying human nature, mm -hmm. like denying who we are. Like for instance, collectivism. You know, mm -hmm. the, the collectivism has never worked. It never will work because it doesn't allow for am human ambition to exist. Yes. And human ambition will always exist. There will yeah. always be people that are ambitious. You can't, you can't, you can't breed ambition out. Can't to get rid of that. They've tried no. it before. They tried it with India. They tried it with the Chinese. They focused you, on a vegetarian diet it. to change You're the psychology of the brain, to rewire people, to make them subservient. Where you can't well, get it. rid you, of you, that. You can't, you can't breed out curiosity. You can't. Uh, breed out the ability to learn. You can't breed out these things. We well, still, desire. we still, you know, hundreds of thousands of years later, we still can't get rid of our primal instincts. No, because they're, they're inbuilt, they're ingrained in our DNA. These primal instincts. So we we still have our fight and flight. We still oh. have our, you know, we still have these basic basic carnal desires. We have. All I of still these like boobs. Too. I love yes. boobs, but you're going to have people who go, look at her boobs. I'm a poor guy. I want to work my yes, ass off I so will. I can get boobs. <laughs> I mean, if you really think about it, to to the standards of beauty are are yeah, also, they're, they're ingrained in us. I know, but they've destroyed yeah, that's, them. That's, that's, why, that's right. why when when we're told ugly is beautiful today, we go, no. Well, and, when and we're the, told yeah. man is woman, we go, no. Right. Well, that that we're we're gonna have to. This is gonna be a a, a time that's gonna look be looked back on as insanity, where well, where, where so. everyone's trying so. to deny. Well, it's it's it it because ultimately it doesn't work. the 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 problem is we're going. I understand everybody thinks we should be nicer to one another, but the other flip side to that is, um, that doesn't help you survive. No, but do you remember? No, how and you also be? you can't demand. Yes, there you go. Nice. Yes. Yeah. You know what? You can't to... demand acceptance. You can't respect. demand respect. Can't. All of no. these things are earned. It used to be in the past we had the social contract. You do what you want to do. I'll do what I want to do. You can't harm him. He can't harm you. Otherwise, there are consequences. Then someone interjected, hey, you have to be nice to him. Yeah, hey, you have to. No, you don't have to do any of that. Well, no, he's, uh, but this is this is what we, we're getting compelled speech. Right. Well, and and that's it's so funny because whether you're a fan of Jordan Peterson or not, he was one of the first people in 2017. He said to the Canadian government, you know, he was labeled a transphobe, and that wasn't what he was talking about. No, it's not just at all. that the the idea was that the Canadian government was going to pass a law that mm -hmm. said you must use you must. these yeah. words, or and the thing is, when you do that, that means by definition you're also going to create a police it has to be policed yeah, which then means that there's thing. how how are you going to police this like in texas well. <laughs> in, in the united states here if you have an abortion your neighbors can inform we are turning into a nation of in the united states of snitches of tells, people yeah. that yeah. that are that are like americans will tell where Anne frank was hiding and and yes. that's that's uh, where it that's was some Americans, yeah. I, I, well, I, yeah, would, uh, I yeah, would, I would, I would uh, say I would wouldn't be so harsh to the Americans. I would say the West and, in general. Yeah, the West, and because because on one hand, people want you know, like you said, George, the idea is to be nice to everybody, to be accepting of everybody. More people were arrested in the UK last year for saying harmful things on the internet. Oh God, I've watched them by a substantial yep. margin. Than Russia, yeah, and it's terrifying. And, everybody and, thinks and, we're going to end up. Everybody thinks a lot of these people think we're going to end up. They they think that the utopia they want to build is that Star Trek utopia, but they don't understand that the masters behind them they just want to go back to communism, where you have a few well, at the top ruling mm, the serfs at the bottom. Well, that's well, what also, they think. They think they think that these fucking idiots think that the Star Trek of the future is a socialist society. And it's not. I know. It's, a, it's they... a society based off the meritocracy. 
It is, but they don't. That's not how it's been pushed into the most of the culture. Most of the culture views no, it, that it, as, it has. It has. If you if you watch it, it clearly has. I, I know that they, because they, they we pick watch up. It. They pick up like all insincere people. Mm -hmm. They pick up on certain little lines and they try and instead of say, seeing the ninety nine percent of the evidence, they want to pick up on that one percent and try and pervert that and twist that. There's, a, there's a moment in in Star Trek um, First Contact, the movie, not the episode. The movie where, where Picard says, "Oh, we, we've got past the desire right. for for material yeah, things," true. and then the, the socialists love to latch onto that. But Picard isn't saying we don't collect stuff because he does. <laughs> he's an architect. He collects stuff. He has all the ships. He has it. What he's saying is the human the human condition isn't driven to acquire. That's not well, the well, humans the human condition's driving force. Our driving force now is to go out and explore. And meet new civilizations and boldly go where no one's gone before. Well, and what they forget is is the Picard family owns a chateau in France. Right. Yeah. I was about to you say. Know, they they have they have their own homestead. And what I what I find really disturbing about where we're at as as a people is nobody wants to work hard anymore. You know, oh, like God, nobody no, wants to don't. you know, everyone talks about, well, we have to have equity, you know, because there's all this inequality. I'm like, the world is unequal. There, there are people that are born that are shorter and people that mm -hmm. are born that are taller. And mm -hmm. the people that are shorter, if you want to play, say, NBA basketball, you might not be able to do that because physically you are not given the attributes you need to play those kinds of sports. So you can't do it. Or, or, or you have to work harder. What? If you're a short basketball player, you better be damn good and faster than everybody else. And uh, well, now th this is the thing that – that's what it, so humanity if you're shorter and you can't play basketball you have to figure out well what can you do and that's been the human condition since the dawn of time but you know we're part of and that now it is, is the whole participation trophies generation we taught terrible. generation of children what did we teach them we didn't teach them how to win and succeed in life we didn't show them that you're going to lose in life but you're going to learn from that because we said we have to spare their feelings so they never suffer life is suffering well, yeah, look, look, equity, look, let's just use Robert's example of basketball, for example. Equity in basketball is a five foot two person wants to play basketball, so the six foot guy, five guy has to have his legs cut off. There you go. Yeah. That's uh, equity. Or, or, or the, the five foot guy gets to wear a uh, uh, foot long or foot tall stilts and participate. Well, I, I would say the, la the former. <laughs> Yeah, than the okay. latter, because the, it's easier for the person demanding equity right. uh, to just be themselves without any sort of impairment. Well, but well, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, is essentially just stepping on people's heads. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you a funny. I'll tell you a funny story. So, where I grew up in Seattle, we had Boeing. You know, Boeing engineers, Boeing, like airline, Boeing yeah. planes. So, when I was in the Cub Scouts, Boy Scouts, we had what we called the Pinewood Derby every year, where oh, yeah. you, you would make your little cars out of wood. Yes. And, and my dad and I would, we, we had fun. We'd make the car together, you know, and it was fun. We'd, we literally, he would sometimes carve it or I would carve it. We'd paint it. He put graphite on the wheels. It was a father son thing. We never won, we always came in second place because there was always someone whose dad clearly, made it look like a wing <laughs> yeah. there's all these designed cars and stuff and and my dad used to always apologize to me after the pinewood derby he'd say you know bobby i'm, I'm sorry you know we, we and my dad we did our was, best. He, yeah. he was because the vice president of an insurance company he's like i i i'm not a aerospace engineer and i'm like and i even knew i i was like being a star trek fan even as a kid i said dad who cares? I mean, the the fun was building the car with you, Hell yeah. you know, and, yeah, yeah, and figuring yeah. out like we I draw it on paper, and my dad would get the tools and we'd carve it out and paint it and all that. I'm like, and I, I even I understood that because uh, there were Boeing engineers, and you knew that father, some father made that car. You know, you know that no kid could have done that. Yeah, this right. flying wing thing, and and even then, it, it was I knew we were never going to win, <laughs> just because we were just never going to win, and and that was okay. You know, I could win other places, but the the point of the Pinewood Derby is that my dad and I would we did come it up together. With this we did it together, and 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 it was, it was the winning part wasn't it was the journey, not the destination, and and in a way, my dad and I could share like we'd be watching the cars and stuff, and we're like, 
that kid's dad. He didn't do that. That was that dad did it. And you know, you'd see the dad right there at the finish line. Yeah. 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 And, and, and it's it like, dude, you're like some Boeing engineer. You did that. Yeah. Of, course, of course. Is it cool to beat kids? Is that cool? You know, I, like I don't understand. Like, if you have certain advantages, like say biological advantages, why would you want to compete in a sport right. that made you uh, able to trounce the competition? Because it's unfair. I mean, Pete Rose got banned from the Hall of Fame for oh, taking God. steroids. You know, and it's like now you have people that have way unfair biological advantages, and we're trying to, in order to make it equitable or whatever, it's insane. It's insane. But I go back to the 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 lesson I learned from my dad. You know what? We had fun doing it together. The point was not to win the race. The point was that my dad and I got to make a thing together that we both contributed to. And we got to go have fun. And oh, that cool. was a reward in itself. Yeah, absolutely. But we were talking about Star Trek. I picked something up this week. It's, I know it's going to sound, it's going to be silly, but I, I love it. I put it on, I got it originally for the door of the studio because I've had people walk in while I've been making videos. So I thought it would work, but the sound, it makes too much sound. So I found this because I've been watching Star Trek like crazy because y'all know as well I you should because i man. was sick for a couple of weeks so i, I had just finished last night the, i think it was called i can never remember the damn names it's the in season six it's the point of arrow or something where they go back into the where they visit with mark twain times and, arrow that's times the season arrow. five yeah. six two parts yeah, two part. yeah and at the end yeah finale so with the with the vidians so i found this <laughs> i found this from the original i know it's, it's that's like fantastic it, you get that uh, i mean uh, why, are you, uh, why are you apologizing i'm getting a hard on right now yeah well, this is I amazing it, but what happens is he's like so i put it at the front of the door so i would hear anybody come up but of course i was sitting here trying to make a video and i kept hearing this you know it would keep going right away. <laughs> it was too loud the mic would pick it up but but it has a different where is it captain the bridge spock here That's the shuttle, shuttle conductor. That's yeah. incredible. So I, I love I it. Want, I don't have one of those. I want one of those. Oh, I, I'll say that's my doorbell. It's yeah. I, I, it's awesome, except it didn't work the way I wanted to. So I'm going to put it somewhere up here, because every time someone would walk by, we just hear this red alert, or the door would open and the, and the mic would pick it up. But uh, second, talking about starter, because I told you I've been going crazy with it, and I'm waiting for the Tommy to come in. Oh my god, dude! It, but it's been delayed till October. I know, but I, I've been wanting an Enterprise so bad. So I found Ooh. this on Amazon. Is that enough. the brand new one? Is that the brand new Playmates one? No, no. My Playmate has come in and it was broken. I sent it back. I'm waiting for a replacement. Oh, oh that's this the one with the buttons. Is, yeah, with the buttons on the end. Yeah. yeah. This is just you know, it's not very expensive. It's like forty bucks. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah, oh, I like, yeah, yeah, good uh, torpedoes. It's, you know, for forty dollars, it's got a nice little. You got the lights here. Yeah, man, that's not bad for forty bucks. You know, no, that's no. pretty good, man. And now someone's showing some toys, which is good. Yeah. <laughs> hey, did you see that Strange New Worlds is gonna is gonna focus on Kirk being a Lothario? No, I didn't. Dude. Dude, that makes you happy, Robert. Uh, I, I, like I've said, Star Trek Strange New Worlds is the Vegas show version of Star Trek. Tonight Star Trek skin at suit. Caesar's Palace in the Coliseum, come see Strange New Worlds. Hot dudes, hot chicks, they're on stage. I mean, I uh, I watched that trailer. I want to throw things at my screen. Uh, I, I, I First of all, I can't deal with the fact that one of the characters is a descendant of Khan. I know. See, that, that uh, it, bugs me. I saw the episode. Because you had told me, Robert, you said, just check it out once so you understand. Because you said on a stream, Robert said on a stream, somebody asked him, what's the difference between Picard season three and Strange World? And and Robert had, as Robert stated, Picard season three is in the Star Trek universe, and it's Star Trek. And he goes, Strange World is, I've taken a shit somewhere near the Star Trek universe. <laughs> <laughs> it's so, I, I mean, the funny thing about it is, 
Strange New Worlds is a show that is made by people that have a pop culture understanding of Star Trek that's removed by 50 years. Mm. They've, they've, they've believed, whether it's a Simpsons sketch, a Saturday Night Live sketch, to them, the original Star Trek series is a goof. Okay. And, and Star Trek Strange New Worlds is a goof. It's mm. all like, it's all like being, it, this is actually in the new trailer. Being an explorer is awesome. Oh. Like, I, I, I mean, it, it's fingers on a chalkboard. No one talks to anybody <laughs> like they're in, in Remember a military. Remember when Picard said that to Riker? Oh, Riker, exploring is awesome. It's fantastic. And Riker went, cool. Oh, my God. No, he'd pull up a chair first. He'd swing his feet over. Yeah, swing his leg over. Yeah. Wow. No, but it, I can't I can't watch it because there's no it has no you know if you go back and you look at just pick take your pick watch modern Battlestar Galactica watch uh the expanse listen to how people there there is a an effort to make people sound like real people yes. in the situations that they're in strange new worlds has none of that nobody sounds like they are remotely no. in the actual environments that they're supposed to be in the way that people talk to each other on the bridge like somebody somebody wrote to me a letter they said you know i was i was a navigator on a naval vessel and i never spoke up unless i was spoken to if i talked the way the navigator on the enterprise and strange new worlds talked to the captain i would be court martialed right. and they they're like yes. i can't i can't watch these shows there's no there's no credibility there's no uh, if at all, if Picard said, um, "The Forge set course to Beta Six Two Four, Warp Factor Six, and the Forge went cool," <laughs> Picard would go, "What did you what just did say, you Anson?" Say? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I sir, you know, then he'd sit yeah. back down in his chair, you know, giving him the stare, the death stare. Like, what's yeah. up with you? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I mean, what, and that's why I can't. Why are you I, talking to me like that? I'm a fucking captain, and you're an ensign. Yeah, and, and why? Why is it that the captain like cooks for like he ha he doesn't have a command staff like Spock, Kirk, and McCoy were the id, the ego, the super ego. You know, they mm -hmm. needed one another for counsel, and they were friends. But they there was still a sense of decorum between these men. Mm -hmm. I mean. Uh, Captain Pike's like, hey, come to my cabin tonight. I'm going to cook for all of you. And he's cooking for ensigns. He's cooking for enlisted people. They're all like his buddies. Which there's not there's a sense of yeah. informality. That's not how a military command structure works. No. Hey, Robert, no. you, you, it's kind of like you're saying, and I don't want to put words into your mouth, <laughs> but, you're but let's to. just say, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just going to make up a show. Let's call it, let's call it Star Trek the, the Hex Generation. And uh, it takes seven seasons, and the very final episode of the final season for the captain to fraternize with his officers. <laughs> his officers. Wow. You know, it's amazing. After seven ah! seasons, he finally he finally sits down to play poker. Yeah. Amazing. Right. And and that and you know. But but that's. If I mean, he, you never if, saw if, Picard in seven seasons play poker with him. You saw it in Picard season three. No, and you that, saw him pull up, pull up a chair at the yeah. end of the final episode, and he at the final episode. That's exactly because yeah, he was their it. captain. That, yeah. That's how it was supposed to be. Not like hey, they play poker all the time. And then by time generations came around, he was a warmonger. <laughs> Yeah, well, and, and the funny thing is, is if you look at that, if you look at all good things at the end, when he walks in, everyone's they're all, stunned. Yes, yeah, they're all yeah. stunned. They're like, oh my. And is, Deanna's and is like, wrong, Captain, you know, you're always welcome, sir. You know, mm. and they're, they're all stunned. And that's what makes it moving. And, and also, it, when she says that, when Troy says that, he doesn't say anything. We, if this was, if this was discovery. Or strange new worlds, he'd be fucking crying. He'd be yeah. crying, going, "Thank you," Thank you know. Yeah, but what totally. does he do when Troy says that? He just stops for a second, and then sits down, you know, or, or he just looks at her for a second and then carries on. Doesn't have to say anything because remember, you don't have to have words to explain something. You no. can read into that. As an intelligent member of the audience, when once upon a time you were treated 
like an intelligent member of the audience. Not some over-emotional fucking retard that, that needs, oh my God, and, and let's sit down and discuss our feelings every two fucking seconds it's while also space. excluding certain people, not going to mention what, white men, <laughs> heterosexual white men, from any aspect of that show because you are so bitter and antithetical to exactly what Star Trek stands for. Oh, yeah. Gentlemen, I am being summoned by my oh. lady. Oh, summoned. I'm, being I'm, I'm being summoned, which means there's maybe a, a puppy issue or something. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Well, uh, I mean, so, for a lady, well, hey, look at so, you. <laughs> uh, so I, and, and that's not a euphemism. Oh, I mean, oh no, no. Unlucky, unlucky. So I, I'm, I'm being summoned. So I must, I must bug out. And okay. I, I, I apologize. We didn't even get to super chat. I didn't even get to talk toys. I was going to call sideshow and find out what they build me for. Well, we did. But, we did. We did talk some toys. We did talk some. I. This was toy. great. I will be back, George. As always, a pleasure. I don't always. know what's going on, but Elizabeth knew I was streaming, so it's got to be serious. <laughs> so, <laughs> no worries. I, no I worries. don't know what's going. Look at the Enterprise. Oh man. Yeah, I was going to show y'all. Well, yeah, we, yeah. We, we, next time, there's a guy. You bug you you out, Robert. And we'll, Is yeah, this the, the guy that makes the six scale Enterprise? Yeah, the, the whole the, bro, the whole bridge. Yeah, dude. Oh. I've been looking at those pieces. I mean, he makes them, and I want. He's in San Antonio. Go. It's amazing amazing we'll go i saw next week i saw on uh on um shit i gotta go i saw on on the stream or i saw on e ebay or something it's on ebay yeah it's incredible yeah yeah i needed one in, i needed one in six uh enterprise d anyway robert go sort your puppies I'm out I mean, go I don't know sort your missus's puppies out You're i right. know go yeah, grab the right. puppies i <laughs> yeah. will see you both later everyone Get those thanks puppies for being here. a lot of tender loving care oh yeah Oh, yeah. I'll be back. <laughs> I'll be back. All right. Stay here. I'll be back. Let's well, have man. a look then. Let's have a look then. Yeah, George. here it is. Yeah, I, I found it the other night and I was like, wow. Is that on full screen? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's just the way that eBay. That's one in six. Yeah, that's one in six. Fuck you can buy me. it in pieces. Can, can you? Yeah, yeah. You can buy it in pieces because it's, it's like. $2.99 to $6.99 a, p a station, almost, depending which station. Wow. Now, look here. You see? You see that? He's actually got it running. Yes. Okay. God, this is that's incredible, mm. man. It just doesn't come with a chair because that's QMX chair. Yeah, 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 yeah. I missed out on that chair as well. They yeah, have them on Amazon for $120. Do they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. QMX, Star Trek. Oh, shit. Okay, I'll have a look. Damn. That's it. Because uh, X06 will do the OG, in, you know, I don't know. Eventually. I, I, I've asked them. I've, I, they've responded to everything except for that. I'm like, are you going to do... Because remember, the guy who owns, who founded X, yeah, he was except, at QMX. Yeah. QMX, was, yeah. I said, are you going to do the original characters? Because I missed out on a couple of them, and now they're like $1,000, $800 on eBay. I'm not going to... Well, they, they even... They didn't even release the Scotty and the Sulu. They cancelled them. I had them on pre-order. So but it, yeah, the, bone, the Bones, I think, is the most expensive, isn't he? Yeah, Bones and Spock, it's just... And I have the the chair. I'll unbox it next week and show you. I've never opened it because I was like, one day I'm going to get a Kirk. But I think I went six months ago to look at eBay for a Kirk. It was seven hundred and fifty. Like, yeah, ridiculous. I I once upon a time had a little look. It's like four hundred pounds for this spark, and it's gone nuts. And I was like, this wow. No, yeah, no, like, no. I want them, but I not that not much. For that. Not for that. Not, it's not like for more that than much. statues to get all three of them. But this yes. guy, I liked what he did. I, you know, you can contact him. And I was like, I think one day when it comes, when I get those figures, I'm going to call the guy or reach out to him through the eBay system. And then hopefully he contacts me because I want him to change a couple of things. But yeah, he, he's got it all. And when you look through his eBay store, he has more pieces. He even has Playmate pieces to go if you have the Playmate trek. He has the Playmate bridge. He oh. built a bridge so you could put your playmate characters, a full bridge. Nice. Oh, I can show you that one. Where is it? I think I've seen it. 
Where is it? Here it is, this guy. I have seen a version. I know that. Right. But he has a lot of uh, a lot of really cool stuff. Here he is, 3D. His name is 3D Trekker. Uh, 3D Trekker. That sounds 3D. familiar. I think I've had a look at some of his stuff. Okay. He even has here. I'll show you this. Uh, there we go. Don't worry, chat. I haven't shrunk. I've just slid right down in my chair. He even made this in 1.6. Ah, the Q throne. Yeah. Nice. Oh, I was hoping it could be on some sort of gimbal or something. Ah, I know. But I, I just have a feeling this guy, if we contact him, he could do it. But let me show you. Where's Here it is. Here's the Playmates. Is this the Playmates one? Yeah, this is the Playmates one. Wow. That's now, brilliant. I don't know if he has. Hold on, there we go. <laughs> that well, is so it. good, man. Yeah, it is, and it's... See, he charges you per station. Yeah. Wow. Wow. That's great. And the view screen, at least in the one six scale, was Dooms real. Yeah, the Doomsday device. So, yeah, there's a lot of great stuff that's coming. I, I really wonder if they're going to... That's one of the things I wanted to ask Robert. Maybe mm. you know. When I was watching the Flash trailer, mm -hmm. then I went and looked at a link which showed the suit in two different in two different frames. Mm -hmm. And in one frame, the Flash suit looked cool, but in the other frame, it looked completely ridiculous. Like, he had these big boots that, that looked like 14 inches wide and, and well, the mask... We, okay, right, okay. There's two Flash costumes because there's two Flashes. Mm -hmm. The the first Flash costume is Ezra Miller's. Mm. The second is Barry Allen, who isn't the Flash's costume, which is actually the Batman Begi uh, Batman Returns costume oh, okay. with the with the ears cut off, spray painted red, with a with a lightning bolt going across where the Batman logo was. So right. he's actually wearing Batman one of Batman's. Okay costume that's why it looked i was like it looked clunky but i just wanted yeah, what, it, uh, yeah it does look clunky i if that hot toy comes out I, that, but the other ezra the the ezra miller and the flash one i'll probably get that you think they're going to do led or they're going to do that stupid thing that hot toys does where you have to oh, shine not the back light. Light. yeah yeah hey, fuck that i hate that shit led it right i don't if know they don't why LED it, it's going to piss me off Right, I don't know why they got hooked on that because it's like, and then they Probably don't provide cheaper. You the cheaper that's why cheaper. But then they don't provide you the proper light. <laughs> I mean, I've got a backlight, but I turned it on to see Bane's venom mm. tubes on the statue I got, and then I realized everywhere that I've come in the room. <laughs> <laughs> George, it, it's a lot of places. It's a lot of places. I can imagine. I can mm. imagine. I'll tell you what is, uh, <laughs> talk about coming in a room. Uh, did you hear about... Uh, what did you just call me? Come in a room. No, I thought you called me... No, never mind. <laughs> what did you think I said? <laughs> no, we were talking about... You remember the guy who played Aaron Deer? <laughs> From Rings of... Rings of uh, Re? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Did mm. you see what he said? That he needed a therapist? It's Why? in the art. Okay, I, I got to share Because it was because the script was so bad. <laughs> no, no. Here, I got to share this because uh. I got to share this. So he's talking about. There it is. So he's talking <sighs> about Amazon hired an onset therapist to deal with the racist backlash. But now look at his word choice here. I I just had to tell you, there mm. is. He starts talking where uh, there it is. The elves have been historically portrayed as white and Aryan. Yes. I'm like, it's like every time someone says the, you know, white, they attach Aryan or Nazi. Or, Wait, yeah. I mean, I removed the Aryan, but yes, they, are, they have been portrayed as white. Yeah. yeah. That's why they're talking, because that's the way that Tolkien created them. But because never... he, do you know why, George? Do you know why oh. that is? It's because all of it is based on 
English mythology. And do you know what color the English were? White. Fuck me, George. That's a great. Well done. Great guess. I know. I, I couldn't believe it. I, I, I was just stunned. They needed therapists because they got bad messages from people. They people didn't like their characters. Oh, like, okay. Hold on. Let me just shed some tears. <laughs> no, nope, they're not coming out. They're not coming out. I'm afraid. I, I was just laughing at it. Uh, we like, had to hire a therapist because <laughs> we shat all over Tolkien's vision, and when people called us out on it, we cried. <laughs> that's all I. That's what I. That's what I saw, George. I know. It's just thinking that's about what it. I saw. But I can we, see. We it. shat all over the history of this beloved author because we wanted to put our personal intersectional and far left ideology into this show in a very mean spirited kind of way and we got called out on it oh i'd like to get one of those one of those actors on our show let's see how long they last before they need a thorzine Bef well, before <laughs> no, number one never get them number two they'd walk out in about two minutes after i've spoken to them <laughs> When I say two minutes, I mean 15 seconds. Right. Let's read some supers. Let's read them. Uh, Eddie Brock, because time is a ticking. With a two euro fitty, it says, thoughts on the CW Flash epi final episode, and when's your review coming out? Uh, never watched it. Uh, will never come out. <laughs> How about that? Yeah. Look, Eddie, I don't care. You know, I watched... I, I dipped out of the Flash... After two and a half seasons, I like the first two seasons. The first season I I thought was okay. I thought it was all right. I thought there's there was plenty of little mysteries going on. I was okay with that. Second season, uh, and then I got part way through season three. I don't even think I made it to the mid season finale. I wow. was just like, this is fucking terrible now. So I I'd, I'd already dipped then. To me, the Flash was already shite then. And that's way before I was talking about any of this stuff on my YouTube channel. You know? Uh, that was just regular person wanting to watch for entertainment's sake. Uh, so I, I, I have no emotion attached to the show. I have no shit given. You know, this, this, this series is getting similar numbers to, to, to Batwoman cancellation numbers. I mean, this is nine seasons in, but still, nobody's watching this fucking shit anymore. And if you've seen, like, the clips, all of it's just a meme now. The whole fucking Arrowverse is just a fucking meme now. So I, I in the nicest possible way, I don't give a shit. Mm. I don't even think it's worth it, and I don't think my audience would give a shit. My audience don't even give a shit when I reviewed Gotham Knights, for fuck's sake. And that, that's new, and, you know, it's dog shit, and it's the kind of dog shit which we've had a laugh at, but even, I think people are just getting tired of that. Yeah, absolutely. Just kind of getting tired of it now. But wait a minute, uh, you, you wouldn't review the last Flash episode, but you saw Milf Manor. Right, Milf Manor is terrible, George, but it it's it's end-of-the-world television, and it's hilarious. You can laugh at it. Okay, so Flash is worse than that, is what I'm getting. Yeah. To wow. me, yeah. Wow, okay. Go oh, ahead. absolutely. Absolutely. I would watch Milf Manor all day, every day than any dog shit the CW produces. Okay. All day, every day, mate. That's good. That puts it in perspective. Yeah. And, and, and then... Milf Manor is, is, is insanity bad. Sorry. Exactly. Close your doors. <laughs> Zipper with an 11th month saucer says, hello, Az. Happy Hot Toy Day. Happy Hot Toy Day to you. David Grimes with a two euro says, hell, guys. Flash Keaton Batman is up for pre-order. Yeah, Dude, yeah. I'd already yeah. purchased it before the fucking show started. And uh, yes, we had a good look at it earlier. I'll probably buy the Flash figure. Um, Affleck. Affleck. That's what I want. I'll definitely get the Affleck Batman figure, even though I don't like that costume. Well, I don't like the exoskeleton. Maybe if I can rip the exoskeleton off, so it's just maybe we'll see. Um, 
And depending on when I go see the movie, how Supergirl is, yeah, I don't like the way she looks. Will we'll determine movie. whether or not I um. She doesn't look like Supergirl. Apparently, know, apparently, though, there's some great gratuitous ass shots. Yeah, I read somewhere that they said, which I I, I couldn't believe it. They said that there's an upskirt an upskirt shot of Gal Gadot. Wonder I'm Wonder, like, yeah. she wouldn't allow that. She didn't allow. On the... yeah, but it's, it's it's probably not Gal Gadot uh, Gal Gadot's body. Okay. It's, it it might not be her body because she but yeah, apparent, apparently the camera pans and it, you know, the skirt's flown up and you get a mm. you get a nice ass shot of. Um, I just remember the when they were talking about the uh, Flash being on top of her for that scene. She wanted to, she didn't want George, that. I am all for bringing sexuality back, sexualizing yeah. back. There's there's too much sexuality of the you know. There's no real sexuality in any of it. No, there's no there's no sexuality that you and I are interested in. <laughs> Come on, when I was growing up, there was actual like basic instinct nine and a half weeks. Hey, you, had... you 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 would have your erotic thrillers. They were called erotic thrillers. Yep, yep. How many times did I whack off to Shannon Tweed and <laughs> Shannon Worley? <laughs> in in whatever it called, Destiny of uh, oh di Destiny of Hope. Or some whatever the fucking they had. Just right, right. I'm, I'm double, double, tr double sister trouble. Oh, look, I've got a twin and we're both getting our tits out. I can love that shit. Oh, Derek. Hell yeah. Number 10. 10. Burn. Yes, 10. I love that with Dudley Moore and Bo Derek. Oh, my God. Her running on the beach. You kidding me? Then mm. in Tarzan. Yeah, oh, yeah. Tarzan. Way, yeah. That was. Mm, he razor burn asked me right at the beginning of the stream. Yes, I love Skinny Puppy. My very first album was Viva Sex Fiction. Yes. Uh, Mr. Tickle Trunk with a 28 month sorcerer membership says, Woo! Thank you, Mr. Tickle Trunk. And then they follow up with a five Canadian fitty saying, Robert's joyous soul cried out. But as does this Keaton Batman figure come with a chair? George said softly, <laughs> Sadly, no. And Joel and Robert's heart wept. Wept. So how uh, do you think it's going to be the Flash movie on a one to ten? Look, I think I'm going to get a little bit giddy and excited at the Keaton stuff. I really do. Okay, that's reasonable. So will I. And it's got Zod. And I liked Michael not Shannon original, and Zod. Not the original Zod. I know, but I like Michael Shannon. I don't think they're going to get Terrence Stamp, are they? But, you know, I like I like Michael Shannon. I think he's a weird sort of guy, and I think he suits Zod's... And, and that fucking... In Fayora L, that insanely gorgeous German woman who I follow... Who I stalk... Who I follow on Instagram. And she's coming... She's come back to play Fayora as well. Really? And if they... Yeah, and if they make a Feora figure. That'd be a good porn. Feora's fun. Feora's fun. I man. would I volunteer as tribute. <laughs> Whatever it is. <laughs> uh Angela Richter with a ten dollar says, Looks like my comic book collection display. The best are on show and showcase. Have pride of place in my office the rest of the uh is in boxes and it's in my guest room nice i got uh all mine are in storage right now oh apart from one long box there's like 18 long boxes in storage uh lotus wolf with a five dollar super sticker saying hiya hiya back at you uh nick esp or ESP with a 25 Mexican says Batman 89 or modern suit hot toys. Well, that's the beauty, Nick. They're both available for pre order. Hot toys have reissued an up updated version of the 89 Keaton Batman. I ordered it, which, which I've got as well. I've already pre ordered that. So, uh, you don't have to settle for one, you can have both. You can have the update, you can pre order the updated 89. Which I've got because I got the Jazz Inc. Um, Batwing. Obviously, I want it to go with the Batwing. Mine comes tomorrow. Uh, and I think this 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 costume looks great. I think this is a really really good looking. I think it. Uh, what I really like about it is I think it fits Keaton 
perfectly. I think it fits Keaton to a T. I think this is this is exactly what Keaton's Batman would be wearing. Well, I just wish they'd made his sculpt a little younger. That's my only. No, thing. no. I'm, I want. I, I, I. The older, the better. The older, the, older the, better. the better. I think that's perfect. You're watching too much Muff Manor. No. Well, maybe. <laughs> um. Maybe I don't know. Uh, the Walt Man with a five dollars says, "Now, would you buy the Cell Zero One third party Unicron or the Haslabs official Unicron?" That's look. That's a really good question, actually, dude. Because I have ummed and ahed over bo over both of these Unicrons. I've seen the Cell One. And I really like the look of that. And I really like the look of the Hasbro official one. The Cell one, I can pick up way cheaper than I can the um, Hasbro one. Because the Hasbro one's selling for at least £1,200, which is ridiculous. The good thing came out 350 quid. I would pay... Bearing in mind, I'm t trying to take into account... You can't get it anymore, and and the third party marketplace. I would pay up to seven hundred, up to seven seven fifty for the for the Haslabs. But I can pick up the the cell one for around about six hundred. Okay. And I can't pick up the Unicron, the Haslabs one for seven seven fifty. That's that's where my limit would go. Um. But remember, you got to keep your budget intact for XO six. Because they're having that's, a that's, that's yeah, yeah. I mean, that's all. Don't worry. Like I said, I did have you get stuff. Kim. Did you get Kim? Costed. Oh, okay. Because you know, I think dude, it's I'm tomorrow. getting it. I'm getting everything apart from Discovery shit. Because tomorrow, I think they have uh, Paris. Yeah, because they showed him on their site today. They did show, yeah, they did show him on. Um, well, you can see him in Harry Kim's pictures. You yeah, see they have, yeah, they have Paris. It's, it, it, they didn't do much with Paris. I was surprised. I, the 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 head sculpt. Mm, I'll still get it. I'm still waiting for the Wrath of Khan uh, figures. I don't know patient. what they're waiting. For. I'm not patient. Remember, George, you yourself have said. I know that I did, but he wants I'm to tired. complete Voyager first. I know, but I I'm impatient. Damn it. All he's got to do after that is Balana and uh, Neelix. Right. And I oh, think he's... that's it. I think that's all of Voyager. Well, then he's going to do all of Picard, the uh, season three. That's mm -hmm. a lot of characters. But hopefully he'll do the Picards on instant purchase. Yeah, yeah. That's what I would like to see with the Picard. Do you know what would be interesting? I don't think, I'm, I'm sure he's thought of it, but is to start doing some of the episodic characters like Ensign so, Rowe? Yeah. You Ensign Rowe. But also some of the aliens that they meet, some of the enemy that they meet, you know, the Borg Queen. The Borg that they turned and who they gave him. Who was it? What was his name? That Hugh, uh, Hugh that's right. Hugh? Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, look, I'm looking forward to the Locutus figure coming out. Oh, yeah. And oh, I want to yeah. know, and I, I don't want to know when that alcove's gonna come up for pre-order as well. Right. I, I read something, was it three or so four days? I could days? get two, because I could get one for my seven of nine thing. Oh, that's good. I wish they did a seven of nine in the silver outfit. The silver maybe, outfit. maybe, maybe it will. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it will. Hugh. And I'd like to see also but before. The, 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 the pink, pink, purple, mauve, whatever you want to call it. That is her, that was what that she was pan. in for longer. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I just like her in that silver. I just want to fuck Jerry Ryan. Who doesn't? I'm sure Jerry Ryan wants to fuck Jerry Ryan. Jerry Ryan wants to fuck me. She was just... She's I, still I, hot. I, she was on the I heard a rumor. Uh -huh. I heard a rumor that Jerry Ryan's like, yeah, boy, give him one. Jerry? He's here. Available. I know you're married, but I'm only a phone call away. What happens in the UK stays in the UK. What? Well, I... After 38 seconds, I actually usually say, look, can you just put this between us? <laughs> just whatever, whatever happened in this room, it's just between you. <laughs> it's like, don't worry, I won't be speaking about this again. I'm like, great. Thanks. George.
George! As? Is there anything you'd like to plug before we go, sir? I like to plug a lot of things. Woo! Jerry Ryan. <laughs> Jerry Ryan. Yeah, absolutely. Being one of them. Yeah, I have a new video coming out this Sunday. Also, you can sign up at my Twitter. Need more people on Twitter. You can check me out on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter. New video coming out this week. And I have trying to get to two back to two videos again, like I used to do them next week. So then you see me on Base Staff Monday, Monday. And I'll be back uh, next Thursday with Az again. Well, to next Thursday, it'll be on Robert's channel, fully articulated. Articulated uh, on fully. Robert's channel. Uh, tomorrow, Friday night, tights. Gary thinks I'm going to watch The Little Mermaid. <laughs> I'm not. You know, well, because no. you already, I mean, look at it. It's a piece <laughs> of shit. They said it's going to open worse than Ant Man. Little Mermaid. I don't care. But they said it's going to open worse than Ant Man uh, Antifamania. I I, did, I I could I mean all the live action Disney's have done money. It wouldn't surprise me if it did money. Uh, I just don't think so. I think the backlash is too big. What do you think? Before we go, actually, what do you think the Flash is going to do at the cinema? What do you think? You know, I actually have no feel for it. I I don't have a feel for these uh, for DC movies anymore. I know it's they're hard, aren't they? <laughs> I don't they, know why they can actually be nothing <laughs> all the way through to Aquaman's one point one billion, <laughs> which I never saw coming. I was like, "Wow." Well, I even, I've never seen the film. I don't oh, care, I you know. Yeah, it's, I don't. I don't know how it made one point one. Terry wants me to watch The Little Mermaid. I can't even be asked to watch fucking Aquaman. <laughs> well, Aquaman is going to be better than The Little Mermaid. I can tell you that it has some fun parts to it, but just ignore Amber Heard and. Some Ooh. other thing. That's I'm still banging her. After you know that she took a dump on a bed. I'm not asking her to fucking use my sheets as toilet paper, George. I know, but the, the image in your mind. I mean, nah, dude, like, bang her, you know, wipe, uh, dude, right. Go around to her place, bang her, wipe my dick on her curtains, leave. And then she calls up somebody and says, I don't know, she's a crazy one. Of course she is. You know know. It, There's different types of crazy. I ain't giving her no phone which is, number. Which is one. <laughs> ah. Oh. Fully there. articulate. What? What? I was going to say, but it didn't matter. Well, wait. The Old Man is coming back out. I don't know if you ever watched that great series with Jeff Bridges. you got to check it out. Jeff Bridges. If you like Jeff Bridges. Old Man. He's just, It's incredible. I just finished it. I was sick for two weeks. I watched a lot of television. <laughs> Which I haven't seen in forever and a day, but no, it was pretty good. You know what you got to do, George? Mm. Got to give up those fangs, man. Yeah, I know. I'm working on it, actually. Because if you're sick, sick if you got a cold and a cough. No, I didn't smoke. I didn't smoke while I was no, sick. No, it doesn't matter. Well, you, it's all there. It's uh, all there. And then your lungs are like the gasping, man. The gasping. Yeah, they were like, "What are you doing?" And I didn't have a cigarette, and I was like, "I couldn't believe that I didn't miss it either." I was just just too sick. I just did not want to smoke. I didn't want to do anything. No, no, that was. I should just quit since. Should carried on. Should have just carried. Seen, seen, seen how long it could have lasted. Well, I've only had one cigarette since. One mm -hmm. Maybe I just quit. Good idea. Chew tobacco instead. Well, it is. Yeah. Tough. You never know. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I ain't snogging you if you're chewing tobacco, George. Nah, I don't want to chew tobacco. I did once. Massive thank you to everyone who came to watch today. Uh, as I said, next week, fully articulated over on the Robert Ma Burnett's channel. Yep. You can follow me on Twitter. You can follow me on Insta. You can follow my gaming channel, HVB Gaming. You can follow my toy channel at What Toys, because that's where this is going to go. Massive thank you to my mods. Massive thank you to everyone who membered, remembered, everyone who super chatted. Thank you remembered? very much indeed. Did you say remember? Remember re remembered yeah, re to come here? Remembered. Well, that's a play on words. Because they, re they words. renewed their membership. So they remembered, George. So they remembered to come it's here and play. <laughs> Once upon a time, it was a popular fucking thing. <laughs> it was a long time ago. Now we just get fucking dog shit and fucking tears <laughs> and over emotional fucking women. Because you said remember. What if they, well, well, it's good that you remember. Well, they, they did remember to come. In all yeah. fairness. Which is funny because half my girlfriends keep forgetting to come.
see you next week. Take care. Bye for now.